Have you ever visited the Wikipedia page of a roller coaster and seen the name Werner Stengel pop up? And then you visit another page and he's there again. And again. And again? I mean, this guy has got a roller coaster element named after him. That surely makes him a big deal, right? But like, who is this guy? Is he the roller coaster equivalent of Samuel Jackson, except instead of being in every movie ever created, he's part of every roller coaster ever built? Well, that's actually not too far from the truth. Simply put, Werner Stengel has been involved with roller coasters more than anyone else in history. He designed over 500 roller coasters in his 83 year old life. Basically, we've got this guy to thank for over 5% of roller coasters ever built. That's kind of crazy. Now, you're probably thinking, how on earth has Werner Stengel been involved with so many roller coasters in his career? Well, instead of building the roller coasters, or selling them for example, he actually is contracted by the manufacturer to design the roller coasters layout. So, okay, he's designed a lot of roller coasters, but who actually is this guy? What coasters has he worked on? And most importantly, everyone's favourite question, is Still Vengeance his number one coaster? Well, sadly, we don't know the answer to that final question, but we're going to try and do our best to answer the other two questions. So without further ado, let's get into this. Werner Stengel was born on August 22nd, 1936, in the German city of Bochum. Yeah, you'll have to excuse my pronunciation. He's German, basically. He has worked in roller coaster design and engineering for a large part of his career, and is essentially the reason why roller coasters are the way they are today. Stengel worked closely with German manufacturer Schwarzkopf throughout a large part of his career. Their collaboration not only led to great roller coasters being built, but also the development of new exciting roller coaster elements. Stengel and Schwarzkopf are credited with the invention of the modern vertical loop, the first ever horizontal launch, and the concept of the heartline roll. So yeah, he saw the reason why coasters are good now. But what are some of the coasters that this guy has worked on? Well, maybe you've heard of Top Thrill Dragster, maybe Superman the Ride, Olympia Looping, also known as Munich Looping, and oh yeah, this small little roller coaster called King Dakar, the tallest roller coaster in the world. Well, our boy Werner Stengel designed every single one of those world-class rides. It also means we have this man to thank for the invention of the Strata Coaster. Stengel himself founded his company, the appropriately named Stengel Engineering, in 1964, and the company still operates today by providing numerical analysis and large-scale testing of roller coasters. In layman's terms, they essentially do all the mathematical stuff so that the manufacturer, such as B&M or Vekoma, can actually get on with building the ride itself. Stengel himself is now semi-retired, which at the age of 83 you'd hope he would be, but he also still serves as a roller coaster consultant to not only parks, but also manufacturers, and he still has a hand in his company as well. While Stengel no longer designs roller coasters himself, we can certainly enjoy a lot of his work. But simply put, the innovation and legacy that this man has created means that today we have some of the best roller coasters ever made. Coasters such as Steel Vengeance, Taron, and Formula Rossa may very well have not existed if it was not for Werner Stengel. So the next time that you get a coaster designed by the man himself, maybe take a second to just appreciate the mind that went into creating that. Or you can just tell Thought Park how terrible Colossus is, which I wouldn't blame you for. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe as I do a lot more videos just like this one.